I generally identify as mixed. Mixed or biracial. I identify as black. I'm not pushing forward like, well, I'm mixed, I'm mixed, I'm mixed. You know, I'm very much like, I'm black. Well, the questions I primarily get um, as far as, you know, my racial identity, are you, um, are you Mexican? If, living in Brooklyn, people don't think I'm Spanish all the time, so they'll come up to me and start speaking Spanish. I get Puerto Rican. A lot. Are you Cuban? Middle Eastern and North African. Mongolian when my hair was longer. Korean? Or like half Japanese and half black. Whatever, you know, ethnicity or race they can think of that wasn't white at the time. If you want to know how my parents met, I want to know how your parents met. They're not like, hey, what's your name? And like bullshit their way into like wanting to know where I, what I am. They'll just be like straight up like, hey, are you, are you? Black? Are, are you white? Just checking to make sure, like, that you're okay, you know, that you're not a threat or whatever, you know? It's like, dude, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm riding the subway just like everybody else. But a lot of times uh, saying black, then like, and what else? And I'm like, like, why does it matter, really? Being mixed race with two conflicting races, I feel like other is the best way to define myself. It's, it's such a a odd blend to have being black and white because there's so much hatred over many years between the two. Mixed is fine, biracial is fine, mulatto is not fine, but I don't think anyone says that. If someone was like, you're a mulatto, I would be like, that's not appropriate. You can't, you should not be calling me that. Mulatto seems a bit antiquated to me. Seems like it doesn't really apply anymore. Like, come on, we've moved on. And I remember finding out, like, somehow in, like, school or some, like, community something that it was, like, not a cool word. Like, that it derived from the word mule. And it was, like, it was an offensive word. Mulatto. Mulatto. To me. Mulatto is the most half white, half um, black. The one that there's most people quadru have heard of, but there's also quadroon. Someone who's one fourth black. black. All the different categories. Octoroon. Octoroon. Like the different is categories. Black. 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 The drop of blood. And Griff is half black, half Indian. Like there's all these different ways to like section off people to make sure you know exactly what is going on. Mulatto, you know, that's just like, that's such a, there's so much history with that word, you know, and how we use it. And I don't, I don't pr propose to reclaim it in when, any way, shape or form. Um, I think that we should acknowledge the history that that word represents, you know, and that's a part of acknowledging the United States and the violent past that we have. There's a lot of, of history there. There was a time in my life where like, all I wanted was to have straight, long straight hair, like Daria. I like loved that look with all the awkwardness and self-realization or lack thereof that goes on in middle school. I was going through that. My grandmother, you know, was a, a light-skinned woman from, you know, from the South who had grown up in a very sort of light-skinned versus dark-skinned world. I don't feel comfortable with, if I was just white, that would be weird or it wouldn't feel right, you know. I would say I'm black. I would never say that I'm just white. Due to, you know, sort of more of the knowledge of the history of, you know, black to white racial passing in the United States and not wanting to do that, you know, not wanting to replicate that. I really never met a black person that didn't know that I was biracial. Most white people know that I'm biracial, but I've definitely encountered some that like had no idea. Most white people tend to just to just view me as African American. Um, I think it's kind of like the one drop rule. I think white people don't like talking about race as much as people who are raised. I mean, th these are gross generalizations, but I think that 
they probably feel like they're going to get themselves into some kind of trouble if they talk about it too much with someone who is raised. So I would imagine they, they'll just look at me and know, oh, well, she's not white, and I don't really need to ask her about it. I can never deny my father ever in my life, and I can never deny my mother, and I can never deny where I grew up. Race isn't a really a technical scientific definition of anything. Um, it's a social construct. And so I thought that it was kind of misleading to say I'm biracial because that kind of clearly puts me in like, I am two different races. I am half white, I am half this, this is what they are mixed together, which is much more complicated than that. I mean, I feel like I move through this, you know, through the world, through the society as a black woman. And granted, there's like certain ways that being biracial definitely affect that experience and it affects how others see me. Mixed. We're all mixed. Everyone's mixed. Like, it's just so, like, um, kind of the perfect answer because it, it is so, like, unspecific that it, you know, doesn't really let people define you. And I like that because my entire life I've felt like I've been, people have been trying to put me in a box for one reason or another. Black is so expansive and, I mean, I think that's what I like about it and that's what made me come to like identify with that is like it can mean so many things um and that's so beautiful it's it's not a it's it's not a matter of choosing i can't choose that's not my choice my the only thing i have is this gray area so i might as well be comfortable in it you know i mean those are my thoughts on the subject